Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm going to be bringing you an update on one of my Saracenia plants. This is a really, really beautiful plant and it's been in dormancy for about a month and a half now and I just kind of wanted to bring you an update on it and show you what it is looking like. Real quick guys, before I jump into showing you this beautiful plant, thank you so much for being here, I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, all that stuff helps me out a ton so you can get updates on these really beautiful and cool carnivorous plants like this Saracenia right here. Uh, you guys have seen this plant kind of grow up from the time it was really itty bitty and now it's getting to be a little bit bigger. So this has been kind of a cool plant to follow and watch. And I also have an identification for it today, which uh, in the past I haven't really been able to identify it with any kind of certainty. So I'm excited to show you that. Uh, it's definitely gotten a lot bigger. It's got some more color and that actually kind of helps us identify a little bit what this Saracenia plant actually is now. So this here, Saracenia, is actually a Saracenia maroon. The thing that gave it away the most was the sort of ornate hood here. You can see the hood has got kind of fancy uh, flaps and folds and uh, it's, it's a lot different than uh, the, what I used to think this was, was a Swaniania. A Swaniania, you'll notice that if you, if you Google that and look at it, they have a much more sort of just oval hood and these ones have that sort of more ornate hood. So that was kind of the dead giveaway. Plus, what you can see here is, this is kind of cool because these are kind of, a, it's kind of a two-tone plant. I'm going to come up here so you can see this one. This is what they look like when they're young. These pictures, they come up and they're kind of a, a yellow and reddish. It's really a beautiful color. I, I almost kind of wish that they would stay this color because I really like that two-tone. And then as they get more light and the, the pictures mature, they turn into this more maroon sort of beautiful dark color, which is also really, really beautiful and also where they get their name the maroon so this is a saracenia maroon uh, again it's a really really beautiful plant i'm really excited that i've been able to identify it with certainty there's absolutely no doubt in my mind now after uh, being able to google this maroon somebody from my comment section actually tipped me off to that and now it's pretty clear that this one is definitely a, a saracenia maroon i don't have as much experience growing saracenia uh, my my history is really more venus fly traps and nepenthes so i i'm i'm excited to start growing some more saracenia this year, but th that's why it was harder for me to identify this one is I just don't have as much experience growing these, but this is a really, really cool pitcher plant and I'm really excited for it to come out of dormancy and see kind of where it grows and, and how big it gets. And I think it's got a lot more growing to do, so I'm really, really excited to see just how big this plant gets. I was also excited to so sort of show off, I have a, a new camera that I, that I purchased and I wanted to show you some footage from the new camera. I think it's pretty cool. So um, I'm kind of excited to show you that as well. I'm hoping to sort of bump up the production quality a little bit in some of my videos, especially the, the video quality. I'm gonna be going to more of a 4K now instead of a 1080, so I'm excited about all that. And uh, please excuse me if there's some technical issues or it looks kind of weird because I'm still sort of ironing out all the details on, on how that all works. But this plant here, since it's been in dormancy, I haven't been giving it a lot of light. It gets maybe a few hours of light every day and it's been under 50 degrees for almost all winter now, at least since January, it's been under 50 degrees. So it is definitely very much so in dormancy. You can see there's some dead pictures. There's one down here. You can see this one over here sort of started growing and then kind of died. Uh, I'm looking for it, I don't see it, but uh, there's some pictures that were kind of starting to grow and that's one of the things that I absolutely hate about dormancy is sometimes these are still in the process of taking off and then uh, these little pictures don't quite make it, which is kind of sad, but uh, the dormancy is really good for the plant. It really needs it, so uh, it is definitely important for you to let these plants go through dormancy. But yeah, so there is the update on my Saracenia maroon, which we know for sure that it is called now. Uh, you can go ahead and do some Googling if you want to do some research on it and see that I'm almost certainly positive now that this is a, a Saracenia maroon. It's the most confident that I've been since owning it that I know what it is, but you can see right there, let me see if it'll focus in here for you. That right there, you can see there's one of those pictures that was kind of coming in and then it died. And I, like like I said, I'm trying to get used to my new camera with the way that it focuses and and zooms and all that stuff, but I think the quality is a little bit better, or actually it's probably significantly better, but it's definitely a little more technical for me to use, so I'll definitely be getting used to it. But Thanks again, guys. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I updated, uploaded a video. I've got a ton more videos coming, uh, a lot of really cool stuff. I'm going to be doing some uh, pinguicula stuff here coming up pretty soon, some Mexican butterwort. I'm going to do some propagating and some replanting, uh, some splitting. Uh, well, actually, check it out. I got one right here that I can show you real quick. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. 
Look at all the flowers coming up on that. That's just a preview though. Uh, so subscribe to the channel so you can check out some of my other carnivorous plants. I know that the Venus flytraps are kind of boring right now because most of mine are in dormancy, so they're not doing a whole lot. So they're just kind of sitting and chilling. I got some propagation uh, that are that are uh, in the process of growing, and hopefully I'll be able to update you guys out on pretty soon. But yeah, thanks so much for being here. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.